Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're fixing to do a little pullback, and so let's get this going.
Auto Gleave. Mm, but. All right, guys, you just saw me clean the pool. You saw me shock it. One thing that I do recommend, and it's recommended by the manufacturers also, when you use a granule type of shock, you got to brush it in, okay? When I bought this shock off of Amazon, I saw some bad reviews, how people said it didn't work. Number one, if you're gonna start introducing granular salt, uh, shock to your pool. I'm mixing in with salt. You want to add three pounds of shock. Brush it in. Brush it in real good until it's all dissolved. And then filter that water for 24 hours. But, you know, a lot of people sit here and make bad reviews on products. And when you get that product and you do what you're supposed to do, especially guys like me, the product works. There, there's just user error and then they write a bad review but anyways we're going to link that product into this video and uh, 
you know, I highly suggest it because right now I could smell boring. So I know it's working. I know it's a good product. And, uh, you know, this pool's coming back. So, uh, rainwater always jacks up the quality of your water. And we've had a lot of rain here, over 10 inches. So, to be honest with you, this pool's going to be tip-top shape by this weekend. So, uh, being on a Tuesday, four days from now, uh, you'd be able to swim in this pool without an issue. So, we're going to head to the next. Alright, this one is coming along. Shock day. It's looking way better. I had to backwash it because the pressure was up to 35. But. to the next. like this, it's empty. Recycle all the cleaning and stuff. So. guys have work trips that are junked up and you have to clean them. It's called job security.
Okay. And there I still get junk in the truck, but it's organized. I got chemicals over here, manual vac hose and vac head, salt, my pole, and then whatever else I need is in there in the toolbox. Say like when you go to a pool, measure out three pounds of shock. Uh, you can throw your tablets in there, carry it instead of running back and forth to the truck. You got it right here. So I'm gonna keep one of these on the truck and make life easy. Uh, don't need to make a bunch of trips to the truck. Just keep that right there. And what else? I need to put the vacuum on the charger. Dump out the bag. Then I'm ready for tomorrow. Like I said, it's not the prettiest, but it's it's there. It's done. It's hot. It's muggy. Let me get my glasses. Okay, so the shock that I used is from Aqua Org, and it's 65% granule hypochlorite. Paid for it $199.99 plus tax $16.50. 216.49 and you can tell the difference um, when you put in three pounds of shock you can actually see it when you start to brush it in it's like a little cloud that goes over um, the water you can actually see it going to work as you're brushing it in um, as a pool guy, I really cannot stress enough. If you're gonna use granule shock like this, you got to brush it in. Uh, it's real important. So, uh, like I said, I've seen people just dunk it in and not brush it in. And then you got shock just sitting there not doing nothing. You got to brush it in to activate it actually. So, uh, if you're going to do granule salt or even shock, you got to brush it in. Very important. Also, 
if you have a chlorinator, uh, sometimes if you have a lot of humidity, say like right now, we have cool mornings and we have humid afternoons like right now I'm melting. Um, your chlorine air is going to be vapor locking. And what happens when it vapor locks, that water flow that goes to dissolve those tablets does not actually flow enough to where it goes into your pool. So you're going to have to take the cap off, let it flow a little bit, put the cap back on, and you should be good to go until the next morning. Uh, sometimes you have to check it two to three times a week uh, or every morning, just about. Um, the only thing about tablets is if you're relying on tablets and you don't want to use shock, uh, your pH is going to go up and you're going to have to address the pH uh, with either a pH down or... Uh, muratic acid and people don't like to use muratic acid I understand it um, but muratic acid is about $15, $16 a gallon to $20 a gallon um, the best way around that is to use granular shock and three to four tablets that'll help kind of manage that pH going up. But if your pH is going up and you're not keeping your alka, you're gonna have issues keeping it balanced and you're gonna have problems. So every once in a while, you wanna use maracic acid, you wanna use some soda ash, uh, some people use baking soda, which is the same to uh, get your alka at 120. 120 is the sweet spot, it really is. Um, that basically balances everything. Um, your pH, I like to run pH about 7 to 7 8, somewhere in there. Anything higher than 7 8, you're going to have issues. So just remember that. Um, Another thing, if you have a lot of wind, if you have a lot of dust, clarifier. Um, don't use a whole bottle. Um, what I recommend is probably about two to three ounces, maybe a little less, depending on the size of your pool. Um, clarifier, it kind of helps polish off the, the water. So, but anywho, that's that for now. I know it really wasn't much of a video, but you know, sometimes we shoot things and I'm trying to do things different this season. Uh, normally I don't talk on video. And uh, you know, sometimes you just see me out doing things and working, but it's beginning to get close to the swim season and you know, it's gonna become very boring for people who watch this channel sometimes, but I'm trying to do things a little bit different this time around. And uh, hopefully pretty soon I'm gonna take a vacation and uh, we'll take you along. So uh, anyways, I'm out of here. And if you have any questions about pool stuff or Bermuda grass or anything, just leave a comment and ask a question there. Uh, you can go to the Facebook page, Pool Time with Ron. Um, we answer questions there too, and you can directly message me. So, if you subscribe to the channel, if you liked the Facebook page, I wanna hear from you. Leave a message that you've liked the Facebook page or that you've subscribed to the channel. I really want to hear from you. This channel is not just about me, it's about you. And uh, your subscriptions and everything, liking really helps me out. 
it helps everybody out that's in the pool industry. So uh, we got a lot of good things coming. So we'll see you on the next video.